Welcome to The Bible Quiz. Enter the enlightening world of the New Testament with our Bible Quiz. Today, we're delving into the sacred teachings and timeless stories that adorn its pages. We have selected 25 engaging questions to test your knowledge and enrich your understanding of this sacred text. Are you ready to embark on this enlightening journey through the New Testament? Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and show your support by liking this video. Your participation allows us to spread the message of God's Word further. And once you've completed the test, share your results in the comments section below. We look forward to hearing about your exploration of the New Testament. Take the Bible quiz with us. Let's get started. Question 1. Which city is known as the birthplace of Jesus? A. Bethlehem B. Jerusalem C. Nazareth D. Jericho You get 10 seconds. That's A, Bethlehem. Bethlehem is known as the birthplace of Jesus, fulfilling the prophecy in Micah chapter 5, verse 2. Despite its small size, it held immense significance as the birth site of the promised Messiah. This humble town became the birthplace of the Savior, emphasizing God's choice of the lowly to bring forth His divine plan for salvation. Question 2. How many books are in the New Testament? A. 26 B. 27 C. 28 D. 29 You get 10 seconds. That's B, 27. The New Testament comprises 27 books, including the Gospels, Acts, Epistles, and Revelation. These writings collectively outline the life, teachings, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, as well as the early Christian Church's establishment and development. Question 3. What type of insect did John the Baptist eat in the desert? A. Moths B. Beetles C. Locusts D. Grasshoppers You get 10 seconds. That's C. Locusts in Matthew chapter 3, verse 4, John the Baptist, known for his ascetic lifestyle, ate locusts along with wild honey as part of his desert diet. This dietary choice symbolized his commitment to simplicity and discipline as he fulfilled his role in preparing the way for Jesus. Question 4. Who were the first apostles called to follow Jesus? A. James and John B. Philip and Nathaniel C. Thomas and Matthew D. Peter and Andrew You get 10 seconds. That's D. Peter and Andrew. Simon Peter and Andrew, both fishermen by trade, were the first apostles called by Jesus to follow him. Their immediate response to Jesus' invitation demonstrates their readiness to leave behind their occupation and embark on a new journey as his disciples. This event is recorded in Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 20, and Mark chapter 1, verses 16 to 18. Question 5. After Jesus was arrested, which apostle disowned him three times? 
A. John B. Peter C. Judas D. James You get 10 seconds. That's B, Peter. In Matthew chapter 26, verses 69 to 75, Peter, recognized as one of Jesus' best disciples, faced a pivotal moment of testing when he infamously denied knowing his teacher three times, as Jesus himself foretold. This poignant event takes place against the backdrop of the chaos of Jesus' arrest, driven by Peter's understanding of fear for his own safety. Treasured Companion, subscribing is the key to staying informed about our upcoming quizzes. Make sure you don't miss out. Question 6. Who recognized Jesus as the Messiah when he was presented at the temple as a baby? A. Mary B. Anna C. Simeon D. Joseph You get 10 seconds. That's C, Simeon. Simeon, a devout and righteous man, recognized Jesus as the promised Messiah when Mary and Joseph brought him to the temple for presentation. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Simeon praised God and prophesied about Jesus' significance. This event is recorded in Luke chapter 2, verses 25 to 35. Question 7. Who asked Pilate for Jesus' body after the crucifixion? A. Joseph of Arimathea B. Mary Magdalene C. Simon of Cyrene D. Nicodemus You get 10 seconds. That's A, Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea, a wealthy and respected member of the Jewish council, boldly went to Pilate and asked for Jesus' body after the crucifixion. He provided a tomb for Jesus' burial, fulfilling the prophecy that Jesus would be buried in a rich man's tomb. Matthew chapter 27, verses 57 to 60. Question 8. To what city was Saul traveling when he encountered a great and blinding light? A. Tarsus B. Jerusalem C. Antioch D. Damascus You get 10 seconds. That's D, Damascus. Saul, who later became known as Paul, set out on a journey to Damascus with the intention of persecuting Jesus' followers. However, during this journey, he experienced a remarkable encounter with a brilliant light from heaven, which ultimately led to his profound conversion to Christianity. This transformative event marked a pivotal moment in Saul's life, setting him on a new path as a man fervent supporter of the faith he once sought to destroy. Acts chapter 9, verses 1 to 9. Question 9. Who was the first person to come upon the injured man in the parable of the Good Samaritan? A. A Levite. B. A priest. C. A Samaritan. D. A Pharisee. You get 10 seconds. That's B, a priest. In the parable of the Good Samaritan, 
It was a priest who first encountered the wounded man on the road from Jerusalem to Jericho. However, instead of helping the man, the priest walked to the other side of the street, ignoring the man's plight. This illustrates the theme of compassion and the failure of religious leaders to act with mercy. Luke chapter 10 verses 25 to 37. Question 10. Finish this verse. In every battle you will need faith as your blank to stop the fiery arrows aimed at you by Satan. A. Sword B. Helmet C. Shield D. Breastplate You get 10 seconds. That's C, shield. In Ephesians chapter 6, verse 16, which talks about the spiritual armor believers need to withstand spiritual attacks, faith acts as a shield to protect against the enemy's fiery arrows, symbolizing temptations, doubts, and trials. This metaphorical image emphasizes the importance of faith in spiritual warfare. Question 11. Whose example does Paul say Christians should follow in Ephesians chapter 5? A. Jesus Christ B. Moses C. Abraham D. Adam You get 10 seconds. That's A, Jesus Christ. In Ephesians chapter 5, Paul encourages Christians to imitate the sacrificial love of Christ, emphasizing the importance of walking in love and forgiveness. He called on believers to follow the example of Christ, who demonstrated unparalleled love by offering himself as a fragrant sacrifice to God. The call to imitate Christ's love emphasizes the profound impact of selfless devotion and sacrificial life in the Christian faith. Question 12. After Jesus fed five, zero, zero, zero plus people with two fish and five loaves of bread, how many baskets were left over? A, two. B, five. C, 10. D, 12. You get 10 seconds. That's D, 12. Following the miraculous feeding of more than 5,000 people with two fish and five loaves of bread, there were 12 baskets of leftover fragments gathered, symbolizing the abundance of God's provision. This event is recorded in Matthew chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. Question 13. What tribe is Paul from? A. Levi B. Benjamin C. Ephraim D. Judah You get 10 seconds. That's B, Benjamin. Paul, also known as Saul, identifies himself as being from the tribe of Benjamin in Philippians, chapter 3, verse 5. This tribal identity was significant as Benjamin was one of the 12 tribes of Israel, and Paul's lineage played a role in shaping his identity and mission as an apostle to the Gentiles. Question 14. By what name is Paul of Tarsus known before he begins his missionary activity? A. Judas B. Simon C. Saul D. Barnabas You get 10 seconds.
That's C. Saul. Paul, originally known as Saul, was a devout Pharisee who actively persecuted Christians before his conversion. His encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus transformed him, leading him to become one of the most influential figures in early Christianity. This transformation is documented in Acts chapter 9, verses 1 to 19. Question 15. What does Simon Peter do for a living before he becomes an apostle? A. Fisherman B. Carpenter C. Tent maker D. Tax collector You get 10 seconds. That's A. Fisherman. Simon Peter, along with his brother Andrew, worked as a fisherman on the Sea of Galilee before being called by Jesus to become his disciple. Fishing was a common occupation in first century Galilee, and Peter's background as a fisherman played a significant role in his early encounters with Jesus. Matthew chapter 4, verses 18 to 20. Question 16. Who is Stephen in Acts of the Apostles? A. A Pharisee B. A Roman centurion C. A disciple chosen to serve food D. The first Christian martyr You get 10 seconds. That's D, the first Christian martyr. Stephen was one of the seven men chosen to serve as deacons in the early Christian community in Jerusalem. He was known for his faith, wisdom, and ability to perform miracles. Stephen became the first Christian martyr when he was stoned to death for his bold preaching about Jesus. His story is recounted in Acts chapter 6, verses 1 to 7. Question 17. According to Paul in 1 Corinthians, what is the greatest of the imperishable qualities? A. Faith B. Love C. Hope D. Wisdom You get 10 seconds. That's B, love. In 1 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13, Paul emphasizes the supreme importance of love among the imperishable qualities. Love is described as surpassing faith and hope, enduring eternally, and serving as the foundation of Christian virtues and actions. Question 18. Who was the high priest of Jerusalem who judged Jesus? A. Herod B. Pilate C. Caiaphas D. Annas You get 10 seconds. That's C. Caiaphas Caiaphas served as the high priest of Jerusalem during the time of Jesus' trial and crucifixion. He played a central role in the religious authorities' decision to arrest and condemn Jesus. This is mentioned in Matthew chapter 26, verses 57 to 68, and John chapter 18, verses 12 to 14. Question 19. How did Judas signal Jesus' identity to Roman officials? A. He shakes his hand. B. He calls out his name. C. He points at him. D. He kisses him. You get 10 seconds.
That's D. He kisses him. In the Garden of Gethsemane, Judas Iscariot betrayed Jesus to the Roman officials by approaching him and greeting him with a kiss, which was a customary sign of friendship and respect. This action led to Jesus' arrest and subsequent crucifixion, as documented in Matthew chapter 26, verses 47 to 50. Question 20. Who murders John the Baptist? A. King Herod B. Barabbas C. Pontius Pilate D. Judas Iscariot You get 10 seconds. That's A, King Herod. John the Baptist died at the hands of Herod Antipas, ruler of Galilee and Perea, at the request of Herodias, his wife's daughter. This tragic event is recorded in Matthew chapter 14, verses 1 to 12, highlighting the political plots and personal revenge that led to John's execution. Despite his unjust end, John's steadfast commitment to righteousness and his role as a herald of Christ's ministry left an indelible mark on history. Question 21. When Christians observe Palm Sunday, what biblical narrative are they celebrating? A. The Last Supper B. The Crucifixion C. The Resurrection D. The Triumphal Entry you get 10 seconds. That's D, the triumphal entry. When Christians celebrate Palm Sunday, they are commemorating Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 1 to 11. This event marks the beginning of Holy Week and is very significant because it fulfills Old Testament prophecies and proves Jesus' messianic identity to the people of Jerusalem. Question 22. Which gospel is written by a doctor? A. Luke B. John C. Mark D. Matthew You get 10 seconds. That's A. Luke Luke a companion of the Apostle Paul is traditionally identified as the author of the Gospel of Luke and the Acts of the Apostles. He was a physician by profession and is the only Gentile author in the New Testament. His Gospel provides a detailed and orderly account of Jesus' life, teachings, death, and resurrection. Question 23. Who was the king of Judea at the time of Jesus' birth? A. Herod Agrippa B. Herod the Great C. Herod Antipas D. Herod Archelaus You get 10 seconds. That's B. Herod the Great. Herod the Great was the ruler of Judea at the time of Jesus' birth, as recorded in the Gospel of Matthew. He was known for his ambitious building projects and ruthless nature, including the massacre of infants in Bethlehem in an attempt to kill the newborn Jesus in Matthew chapter 2, verses 1 to 23. Question 24. Who went with Paul on his first missionary journey? A. Luke B. Peter C. Barnabas D. Timothy You get 10 seconds.
That's C. Barnabas. Barnabas accompanied Paul on his first missionary journey as described in Acts chapters 13 to 14. He was a Levite from Cyprus who played a significant role in supporting and encouraging Paul's ministry, particularly in the early spread of Christianity among the Gentiles. Question 25. Paul and Silas were imprisoned during the second missionary journey, but in what city did this happen? A. Athens B. Antioch C. Ephesus D. Philippi You get 10 seconds. That's D. Philippi. Paul and Silas were imprisoned in Philippi, a Roman colony in Macedonia, after casting out a spirit of divination from a slave girl. Their imprisonment led to the conversion of the jailer and his household, illustrating the power of God to bring salvation even in the midst of adversity in Acts chapter 16, verses 16 to 40. Oh wow, what an amazing exploration of the New Testament scriptures. Whether you aced the quiz or discovered something new, remember that the Word of God is an endless wellspring of knowledge and inspiration, waiting for us to delve deeper. If you find this quiz enlightening, please show your support by giving the video a thumbs up and sharing it with your loved ones. Let's invite them to join us on this enlightening journey through the New Testament. And don't forget to subscribe for more quizzes and profound insights into the scriptures. Your feedback is invaluable, so feel free to share your score, questions, or suggestions for future quizzes below in the comments. Together, we can continue to deepen our understanding of God's Word. Thank you for being a part of this enriching experience. May your spiritual journey be blessed as you continue to explore the treasures of the New Testament.